Hey, hey, everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Well, let's take a look at nominal GDP versus real GDP and understanding what the difference is. And as one of my colleagues likes to say, it's super, super simple. So take a look. Nominal GDP is simply the measure is a me it measures the value of a nation's output produced in a year expressed in the value of the prices charged for that year. In other words, it does not take into account inflation. Nominal GDP is really easy math. You add up all of the things that were made in that year and you get a certain dollar value. And that's the end. The thing is, throughout time, the value of certain goods, well, the price of certain things is going to go up. So a car in 1985, a Honda Accord in 1985, cost roughly $10,000. That same car right now in the United States, a Honda Accord, costs $30,000. Now, does that mean that people now are paying three times the price? Yeah, but is it three times the value? No. So nominal GDP would have the price would just be the price of it in that given year without taking into account inflation, which is the average level of price, the average price level rising. So economists have come up with something called real GDP, which is the value of a nation's output in a particular year adjusted for changes in the price level from a base year. Oh my gosh, price level, that is inflation. So this offers a more accurate measure of the actual quantity of goods and services a nation produces because it adjusts for price changes. I mean, think about it. If you use my Honda Accord example, in 1985, it was only 10, 10 grand, and now it's 30 grand, and you would make it sound like, wow, you know, if you just add up those raw numbers, those nominal numbers, you're gonna, it seems like the United States is, is booming. It tripled, no, not necessarily. It tripled in value, the GDP, no, because it's just the prices that have gone up, the value, the price of each product has gone up. So real GDP is like, yeah, well, let's get real. Let's get real. Huh? Real GDP? Let's get real. What is the actual value of that if we take a base year? And so what economists do is they figure out a base year, and it could be any year. Take 1985, Honda Accord, okay, 10 grand. And then they figure out what the, what the change is in inflation or the change in price levels from year to year. And then they trans translate that that um, all of the price is back to the base year. So that takes out of the equation inflation. It, it eliminates inflation in those prices, okay? So real GDP is the GDP of a country adjusted for inflation. And that will allow you to accurately measure the change in GDP from 2016 to 1985, from 1985 because inflation has been taken out of it and you can actually see just the real GDP and how it has grown because price levels are neutralized. All right, my friends, I hope you found this video to be helpful. We'll talk to you in a bit.